Greetings and thank you for joining me for today's Innovations in Facial Plastic Surgery Update. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Today we'd like to talk about the latest treatments in acne. Acne can be a psychologically devastating disease and although a common myth is that it only affects teenagers, the reality is that it can affect both teens and adults. There are a lot of treatments out there for acne, but not many of them have been scientifically proven. So what can you do if you are afflicted with acne to improve the acne and decrease your risk of acne scars? Well, first and foremost, you can practice good hygiene. Now, over cleaning the skin can actually dry it and abrade the skin and be bad, actually causing more acne. But washing once or possibly twice a day with a simple soap and water solution is probably your best bet. Second, use of over-the-counter treatments such as benzoyl peroxide, azelaic acid, and other topical treatments can actually be very useful in decreasing the sebum production in the skin. Acne is caused by a complex interaction of overproduction of sebum, the oil glands in the skin, blockage of the oil glands, which produces inflammation. The increase in oil is also an excellent food source for a natural bacterium that lives on the skin, Propionobacterium acne. When the Propionobacterium acne has a good food source, it overgrows, and that's when you get the inflammatory process that ensues. So it's a complex interaction of the inflammation of overgrowth of the natural sebum producing glands in the skin, as well as overgrowth of the bacteria, which leads to the acne. If acne can't be controlled with over-the-counter products, the next option are medications. Topical medications, including antibiotics, which not only have an antibiotic component, but an anti-inflammatory component can be helpful, as well as vitamin A derivatives, such as Retin-A, which is a topical vitamin A solution applied to the skin, or Accutane, which is the trade name for oral high-dose vitamin A. Now, there are downsides and complications associated with all of these treatments, and your physician can better talk to you about these and determine if they are right for you. Another product which can be very beneficial is topical niacinamide. Niacinamide has been shown in some studies to be as effective as antibiotics in helping to control acne. Now, once acne scarring has occurred, then a whole different realm has to be entered in order to treat the acne scars. Several treatments which have been shown useful for acne scars also can help active acne. Treatments such as photodynamic therapy, laser resurfacing with either carbon dioxide or erbium lasers, the ablative laser treatments, as well as other treatments can be useful not only for acne scars, but helping to control active acne. For more information about treatments for acne and acne scars, please visit my website at innovationsfps.com or call for a consultation, 972-608-0100. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.